its compelling design, its tailored technology, and its relevant innovation. And they combine to create a vehicle that will truly resonate on an emotional level. Tonight, you will meet a new type of Range Rover. Welcome, the newest member of an iconic family. Modern, elegant, with a touch of glamour. This is a vehicle that will stir the emotions. Ladies and gentlemen, the Range Rover Velar. The new Range Rover Velar began with a blank canvas. When you're starting out engineering and designing a project, you need unbridled thought that says, what if? and this is what's resulted in Vela. The finished car is a masterpiece of design and engineering. It's a dream for a designer to work on such proportions. But simple isn't the same as easy in either design or engineering. We need to make sure we build up a four mil thickness of ice in that area. New innovations ensure that the Vela excels in both form and function. What's exciting about Land Rover is we're challenging the art of the possible. This is a world of precision craftsmanship and technical excellence. What else really is there you could compare to a Range Rover? There really is nothing else. This is the Range Rover Velar. The story of the Velar started with the highest of ambition, to build a car of timeless beauty. This new addition to the Range Rover family would be designed, engineered, and made by over 15,000 people. We don't want to do anything ordinary. 
we could have just done something that was you know, a bigger version of Evoke or a smaller version of Range Rover Sport. It's not. It's something that is unique, that has its own unique character. From the outset, the Velar was shaped by the concept of reductionism. By reducing complexity, its designers and engineers would reveal true quality. I've always been of the view that less is more. We strive towards a reductive approach, which allows you to create something that is much more pure. But mastering the art of simplicity takes a lifetime's experience. For designer Massimo Fraschella, it's an epic challenge. I believe in purity of design. I believe in simplicity, which is the hardest thing in design, but is also the aspect that will give you a timeless quality. Land Rover has a proud history. Recognizing this heritage without being bound by it would be the key to success. It's about acknowledging your past, but it's about moving forward. And I think Range Rover Light is the perfect example because it's unmistakably a Range Rover. But getting to this point was no mean feat and took much more than a sketch. Skilled specialists and the very latest technology would be needed to craft the Velar's striking shape. Today we're cutting a full-size clay car with a five-axis milling machine. Five-axis machine is very, very accurate. We can get to within 0.01 of a mil. The drill bit follows a pre-programmed route, shaping the car with utmost precision. Once we get the finished surface, it takes about three days, roughly. It'll end up looking like a real car. But the final crafting is not a job for machines. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. If we can try to take a little bit out yeah, sure. Nothing can replace human skills when it comes to sculpting the clay. Clay is a material that really is very flexible. It's very useful when you're trying to refine very, very precisely each section on the car. This precision is down to the artistry of the modelers themselves. Clay modelers are the hands of a designer, so they are so critical. Just walk that section through here. Yep, sure. Yeah, we'll take a little bit off that. Okay. Just to get that a little bit crisper. Okay. The car gradually takes shape, but its journey from initial design sketch is still far from complete. For a deeper review, we like to paint the model properly. It's a full paint job, then we take it outside and uh, to untrained eyes, it looks like a real car and that's exactly what we need. We need a clay model that really represents as close as possible the final vehicle. From concept drawing to finished clay model, it's a remarkable transformation. Nothing can replace the natural light outside, even when it's raining because the natural light gives you a true representation of what the car is going to look like in the real world. Seeing the model now with the, with the paint, it really gives you a very clear view. And I think it just looks fantastic, actually. We're very happy. The Velar's striking proportions and precision detailing are unlike anything else in its class. But these achievements are not just the work of the designers. The pursuit of simplicity has driven the Velar's engineering team to the forefront of innovation. For engineers like Lee Petrovsky, creator of the Velar's flush-fitting door handles, it's required a rigorous new approach. So as engineers, we're fanatical about the way we design parts. Many, many sleepless nights, um, always thinking about how to make something better. Morning, gents. Morning. How are you doing? Not too bad. 
With a deploying door handle, there's a number of significant obstacles to overcome. Gloves? No. Although it's just a handle to most people, to us, it's everything. OK, ready? Today, the team is testing the Velar's new door handles in the extreme conditions of Land Rover's climatic chamber. Minus 20. Ice testing the handles at minus 20 mimics the challenging nighttime conditions of the Russian winter. OK, so what we want to do is try and get a general spread across the whole of the car and then focus the intensely all around the handle area. We need to make sure we build up a 4 mil thickness of ice in that area. After an hour of spraying, the car is ready. The handles are solidly frozen shut with layer upon layer of ice. This is the hardest condition we've ever tested the handle to. There's formula of ice on there and a snow dusting as well. Let's see how it performs. Fantastic. So you can see the areas where the ice is broken, the handle's powered through, even though this is four mil thick. Fantastic. Experiments like this have been vital in delivering the Velar's precision engineering. But not all testing is so extreme, nor does it focus on traditional mechanical engineering. What we want to do is to make listening to music a really enjoyable experience. Paula Murphy is one of a new generation of engineers working at Land Rover. She's an acoustic engineer, responsible for crafting the Velar's premium sound. A car is a challenging acoustic environment because you have some really absorbent materials like the leather in the seats and then some really reflective materials like the glass. Orla positions microphones to record acoustic reflections from the speakers. Her goal? To ensure that music in the Velar sounds as good as the day it was recorded. So these microphones are listening, so this would be maybe a short person's pair of ears, a medium height person's pair of ears and a tall person's pair of ears. Microphone set, Orla begins the test. This is pink broadband noise. I often go to sleep at night dreaming this sound. It does drive you a little mad. It enables Orla to detect the parts of the car where there's too much reflection or absorption of sound. We can see where there might be perhaps a little bit too, too much uh, reflection. And then with filters, we can counteract that. And that's really important because you want every note to sound really equal in all the listening positions. You don't want it to sound different, maybe driver to passenger or front to rear. Yet there's more to the Velar's acoustic wizardry. We can trick the brain into thinking that the music you're listening to is actually being played in a concert hall. Even a fraction of a second's delay on the sound's arrival from individual speakers can make all the difference. If you add a little bit of delay, you can kind of increase that sense of space. And also with more and more speakers, you can raise the sound stage up and then it really feels like you're listening to live music. New types of engineering like this build upon Land Rover's history of technology and innovation. And nowhere is that more striking than in electronics. With nearly 10 kilometers of electrical cabling, the Velar is one of the most advanced SUVs ever created. Electrical engineer James Foss is responsible for ensuring that all its components work seamlessly. 
We have every single component that we connect to, from the temperature sensors to control the heating and climate system. We have the brand new laser headlights. We have the brand new touch steering wheel switches, all the way through to the rear reversing camera, which sits up here, and even your deployable door handles. At the heart of the system is a state-of-the-art touchscreen. But even here, the principles of reductionist design and engineering apply. This is the Touch Pro Duo system, first of its kind, being implemented into the Range Rover Velar. And it basically replaces all of your functions controlled by regular buttons with a new touchscreen display. By stripping away unnecessary detail, the Velar's electronics team has created an elegant and intuitive user experience. You have no need anymore to flick through menus. You just have everything encompass you in technology. And you have everything at your fingertips. The result? Functionality and simplicity. But even here in the cabin, new materials technology has taken refinement to new heights. We wanted to ensure that we took traditional luxury materials and gave them a bit of a twist, taking things that we know and love, but making them modern and relevant for this new Range Rover. Bespoke craftsmanship like this has helped Range Rover become the UK's number one luxury export. We're really proud of our collaboration with Kvadrat. Kvadrat is a Danish company and it's Europe's leading manufacturer of premium textiles. On the premium textile seat, in addition to using the Kvadrat wool blend, we also combine this material with a microfiber suede material. This is made from recycled plastic bottles. And I think it really shows how the landscape is shifting in terms of what the definition of luxury is now and in the future. This attention to detail ensures that the Velar is refined for every occasion. But as a Range Rover, it still has certain expectations to meet. This car has been engineered with Land Rover's legendary capability on all terrains. It's a Range Rover, of course. It has to deliver on the promise of the Range Rover brand. And the customers need to feel confident and know that the car is capable. So we start off with the clean sheet on this car. Everything from how far we need the suspension to move, how much loads that we want to put through all of the parts of the body structure, to get every ounce of traction channeled through to the road. It's a great car to drive, it really is. I think the, the essence for me, it drives like it looks, which is a real prize. It's a wonderfully cosseting, refined experience. This combination of refinement and capability sums up the Velar. There are hundreds and hundreds of people behind this and it's sometimes difficult to spot who's the engineer and who's the designer and I think that's real success. It's the fourth Range Rover. It's really going to set the tone for where we'll be going in the future. Well, I truly believe that the Velar will really shift perceptions of what the is about. The new Range Rover Velar is it's moving the game on from a design perspective. It's not changing the philosophy. It's not about changing the philosophy. It's about moving it on for the next generation. Of course, it's a different type of Range Rover, different type of customer. It's in what we call white space. And one of the things that has enabled us to move the design on is design enabling technologies. Modernism and a, and a reductive approach has always been part of our philosophy, right from the, from the Evoque, from the, when we created that design strategy, and we saw the Range Rover Evoque, then we saw the Range Rover Sport, the bigger Range Rover, the Discoveries, etc. And that philosophy will, will carry through to the Defenders. So it's not about changing it, it's about evolving it. When you strip back a designer, you know, I, I almost, almost call it the curation of, of a design because curation, editing, is about taking out. You know, we see a lot of cars out on the road that have got all sorts of lines all, all over the place. Um, 
And for me, that is styling. Design is about very carefully considered approach, creative intellect, thinking about what is going to be the optimum. And that always starts with the optimal volume and proportion. So when you create a vision in a studio as a concept, what is the basic character of this vehicle is about and that all starts with the volume and proportions how does the car sit on its wheels relative to its overall length width height etc then once you've got that right then it's into the, the the surfacing and then it's into the detail while Villar is clearly about its design excellence it's right at its very core so too is its engineering integrity Villar comes with an abundance of technical innovations and um, design enabling technologies. Ultimately what the customer will get is a vehicle that's incredibly modern and cutting edge in terms of its technologies. I think the customer will fall in love with the car first and then when they start to use it they'll fall in love with the incredible innovations it's got too. One of the reasons why we're, we're showing this vehicle, we're revealing it here today in the Design Museum, I think it's very appropriate. You know, the, the Design Museum as an institution uh, is an institution that has promoted the importance of design in, in the world today. And I think it, doing the launch here speaks volumes about the importance of design and engineering excellence at Jaguar Landro.